How's it going guys? Today, I'm going to be featuring the Zhao, the legendary tier Japanese heavy cruiser. Uh, I recently did a video on the Henry IV, and well, in that one I basically said that Zhao is better basically at everything that the Henry can do. I guess the only thing Henry would have over the Zhao is its ability to Citadel stuff like Yamato at uh, close ranges, but um, yeah, I think everything that both of those ships are meant to do, which is kite and farm. Uh, Zhao is just significantly better. And uh, yeah, you're gonna see exactly why in this uh, in this match. Uh, it is kind of a balanced match. Uh, a lot of battleships and cruisers. And um, yeah, so we're gonna do a lot of farming. Although one of the things you're gonna see throughout this video is Zhao's AP is actually pretty good. Uh, they are, I believe, 210 millimeter guns, and its AP Alpha, believe it or not, is, uh, I think it's like 5,600 uh, without punch through, and obviously, if you use punch through, then it's even more. But on Ale Otago, I don't think you have the option, so uh, we unfortunately do miss out on punch through, but I don't think we really need it, considering we do have 12 guns, and since we do have Destroyer Dispersion, uh, it's pretty nasty and you're gonna see later on I mean obviously there's a, a Minotaur that's broadside so we do switch to AP here but even other cruisers like uh, Rune we have no problem citadeling so this AP is pretty dang good Minotaur trying to smoke up I think I led maybe a little too much I was expecting a dead uh, dead Minotaur I mean we do 37,000 damage to the Minotaur and it only has 42,000 HP so we were unfortunately just short of finishing him off. And um, yeah, there's a combo behind him actually charging in. So we do need to be careful. Uh, Columbo, even though it doesn't overmatch 30 millimeters, which is the casemate uh, and deck of the Zhao, it does have improved pen angles. I am pretty sure it's on par with Baltimore or like Des Moines. So it's uh, pretty nasty on those 380s, even though they don't overmatch, but luckily, the uh, Minotaur smoke is allowing me to farm the Columbo without getting spotted. But then again, Columbo has his own smoke and can also smoke up. But I think our teammates that are uh, actually pushing in to the left of Charlie Cap are keeping him spotted whenever he does shoot. But uh, yeah, with so many smokes, things are going to stay unspotted. And since Columbo's just charging in, I decide to start moving away because the last thing I want him to do is just charge through the Minotaur smoke and then pop up on my forehead and, well, with his 16 380s, just delete me from the match, which obviously wouldn't be good for anyone. So I just start trying to create some distance and uh, I'm just hoping that he does get spotted and I'm able to kind of farm him. A lot of the uh, Italian commanders, especially Yakino, the accuracy one that you can get out of the uh, basic commander crates, uh, he is obviously the best commander to use on Columbo, but he doesn't actually have fight fire with fire, so you can actually farm the Columbo pretty well. And uh, like I was thinking, Columbo pops through the Minotaur smoke, but luckily he's not paying any attention to me, so we can kind of just stay here and farm as much as we want. Minotaur reverses out of his smoke accidentally. I switch to AP, hoping that he does go broadside and we can perhaps smash him again. He does start moving forward, although I think he learned his mistake from the first time. And he is angling towards me. And um, yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to remove him from the match. And even further behind the Columbo and Minotaur, there's a Brisbane farming from max range, which obviously a Minotaur without smoke... Uh, kind of what you need to do otherwise you'll be deleted from the match very quickly brisbane does get smashed colombo reverses out i think both of their smokes have run out so our friendly colombo that is on the left side of charlie is now providing spotting which is great for us because now we get to farm and don't have to worry about being deleted by a colombo as well i think we all know that colombo is definitely a scary battleship to go against but um yeah, he doesn't decide to push in at all, which is great for us. I think if he did, then he could definitely create a lot of problems for us. Torpedoes, unfortunately, miss both the Minotaur and Columbo. And we do get spotted. Uh, I'm 
pretty sure it is that Chengmu there. And uh, yeah, luckily uh, our team was focusing their Columbo and we do finish him off. Yugumo in a bit of trouble, rebar Chengmu. Uh, most likely won't have a uh, radar, so I'm kind of hoping our uh, Yugumo can stay alive long enough that, you know, he can actually escape. He could also potentially be radared by the Brisbane since he has actually charged in and is basically right next to the cap at this point. The Torps that I launched at the Chengmu, I think are pretty decent if the Chengmu keeps chasing our Yugumo, which I'm assuming he will, uh, because obviously getting rid of a destroyer is kind of huge, especially because he does also have two cruisers in support that are also in fairly decent positions to farm. Um, but Chengmu gets spotted again, he dodges Yugumo Torps. Our Torps are basically right where he was, and uh, yeah, we do actually land one torpedo on the Chengmu, and we do save our Yugumo from uh, certain death. And well, now that there's no battleship or destroyer, we can actually push in. I'm gonna keep AP loaded here just because, well, I mean, Minotaur and Brisbane, if we can get the opportunity to smash them, obviously it's best to remove them from the match as soon as possible. And also, well, I believe they're just sitting in smoke, so I'm going to try my best to get there as quick as I can. Pop my sonar, and hopefully we do spot them for our ships on the left side of sea again. And then we can finish them off and start helping the other side, because it doesn't look like they're doing very well. Our destroyer is somewhat alone, and there's a... Uh, ship all the way in our spawn so obviously not looking that great so we do need to kind of clean up this flank and start heading over to the other enemy team has also had a and b for basically the whole match and uh yeah points are going to be an issue if we continuously let them uh tick so kind of hoping our destroyer starts moving over to b and starts uh contesting so they stop getting uh points but he's actually going to follow me around the right flank which I think is a terrible idea but um yeah as I mentioned before though rune Zhao EP is uh pretty nasty obviously I led, led a little too much and uh we don't get nearly as big of a smash as we would like but it's just enough that our teammate leaves him on a sliver of HP Minotaur still sitting in his smoke Brisbane gets spotted. I'm basically doing what I said I was going to do, which was charge in with sonar and try to spot these guys. Brisbane spotted trying to kite. He's perfectly stern on. I'm not sure how we got a citadel there. I don't think we really should have. Although Brisbane and Minotaur's booty does have a very flat uh, surface, uh, perfectly stern in. So maybe that's how we got it. Minotaur trying to run and uh, yeah, no chance. <laughs> we actually do get a Kraken. Everything that was on this flank, we basically killed off. And now it's just everything that was on the other. It is. Well, we are losing by points kind of badly, even though we do have the same number of ships still alive, which is in part due to the fact that they had two caps to our one for basically the whole match. And uh, yeah, looking at our friendly battleships, they're not very healthy. Uh, I guess they got farmed by the Minotaur in Brisbane a little too much. And, um, yeah, we just need to do our best to charge at, uh, at B and hope that the enemy team is low enough that we can farm them quickly. Otherwise, the points may still tick in their favor. And there's also still an enemy Shimakaze still alive, which we don't know uh, how much HP he has. I mean, I would hope he's low enough or actually would have died to our friendly gearing that was on that side. But clearly, our gearing was unable to kill a Shimakaze. So that is a problem. And then also, still two battleships, and uh, first one gets spotted, he's full HP. Yeah, it's a bit concerning, considering ours are less than half, but they still have full HP ships. Montana has 406s, can't overmatch our 30mm uh, casemate. So all I do is angle in and uh, hope he doesn't actually hit our bow. And yep, he gets a few hits, but only one overpen. And uh, yeah, enemy Aegir, also full HP. Yeah, this doesn't look very good. All of their ships are full HP, where ours has lost quite a bit of health. And um, yeah, I'm not sure what's uh, what's going to happen here. 
I am trying to stop to farm the Aegir as much as I can, trying to corner off the Montana so we can focus one ship at a time without really being focused. Our Columbo is charging out, which isn't the greatest idea considering we still don't know where their destroyer is. And our Conch is very far behind. Shima is actually spotted by Yugumo and he is very low. Kind of hoping our aim assist can uh, get him out of the game early and then our Yugumo can focus on torpedoing battleships instead of having to spot the DD. But unfortunately, Shima does turn away and dodge our uh, aim assisted shells. We also see all of the Shima torps launched, so we ask our uh, Yugumo to go and spot the Shima because there's no threat of torpedoes for him. So we should have no problem running him down, and it did seem like he outspotted the Shimma pretty badly. I get spotted, so I do know he is basically right around that island. Hopefully our Yugumo can get him spotted and uh, we can finish him off. Triple fire on Montana. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure if that was his fight fire with fire, or if that was actually his damage con. But um, yeah, it's going to be important to set a few more fires so we can widow down his HP because our Columbo is very low. B-Cap isn't contested right now, so we do know Shema isn't there, and is somewhere probably north of the cap, probably where our Yugumo is. And uh, yeah, we still haven't seen their uh, second battleship. Actually, I lied, he's on the minimap, but very far uh, south in their spawn, and also full HP. So uh, yeah, not looking good. Conk being full HP, uh, will easily farm a Columbo, especially being as low as he is, and um, he's still charging in, getting spotted with his smoke, far uh, smoke farming penalty, and also his smoke runs out. Uh, but we also see a smoke in front of Montana, so we do have an idea where the Shimakaze is, and I'm kind of hoping our uh, Yugumo understands that and can go and finish him off. Yugumo dumping torps for... Not sure if it's for Conk at this point or if he's dumping it at the Shima. But we do see Shima Torps heading out for our friendly Conk that's behind us. Um, but they're spotted so far. I am assuming that, you know, we don't have to worry about him. Shima gets spotted and I uh, spam the uh, focus fire on the Shima just so we can get him out. And uh, luckily, Yugumo does get him out. I guess it was pretty important to save our Yugumo early game against the Changmu. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a destroyer to actually farm uh, farm their destroyer. <clears throat> but um, yeah, Montana on a sliver of HP. We didn't get a double fire on him. We only got a single. And now he's just trying to reverse a way to survive. And as healthy as he was, I'm assuming he's going to have more HP. And um, yeah, we're still down on points pretty badly. And uh, yeah, at this point, I'm hoping our conk goes south, follows our Yugumo to finish off the Montana because we are going to need to kill him in order to win. And I'm hoping that the Montana will keep reversing. And then that way we can hopefully get his broadside. So I do decide to switch to AP here shortly. And um, yeah, I'm kind of hoping that uh, he reverses to run away from our Yugumo or Conk so that we get the shots and can actually finish him off and actually pull this comeback considering we're down on so many points. Although, I am a bit concerned, like I mentioned before, uh, Montana and also Conk had been so healthy. They didn't take damage, so they probably still have their repair parties. And um, yeah, Montana, who survived on a sliver of HP, now has a few bars of health. Our Yugumo goes to try and YOLO. He gets absolutely nuked, and he does dump uh, one rack of torps. I don't know if he uh, got one destroyed with HE, but he does end up dying, which is unfortunate. And we also looked at the uh, Montana with the torp tubes, and he was going forward, so I don't think we're going to get a shot, and now it's up to our friendly Conk to finish him off. I am trying to get to the corner of the island as fast as I can. I'm hoping the uh, Yam uh, not Yamato, Montana is reversing right now. So I decide to try and launch torps, but unfortunately he is not reversing. He's just sitting there. Yugumo missed his torps. All he needed to do was land one. But uh, yeah, unfortunately it's too late. Conks one salvo does not finish off Montana. And uh, yeah, we're out of time. We're not going to actually get around the island fast enough to 
kill off the Montana, which is quite unfortunate. I kind of wish our Yugumo didn't try to YOLO, but instead just stayed as far away from the uh, Montana as possible and just torped normally. And then if he just kept staying spotted without Yugumo actually getting spotted, then Montana may have needed to actually reverse away into us. But unfortunately, Yugumo threw a ship away and died. And then Montana, as we saw before he went unspotted, was on a sliver of HP. If we could have set one more fire, he definitely would have died. And uh, after a game like this, I mean, the amount of XP we got nearly the most in this match. I mean, we're basically on par with their top run here with that 50% win bonus. But yeah, absolutely depressing. But this is kind of the norm in this game. But um, yeah, after this one, I am contemplating on trying to get all of my uh, legendary tier ships, uh, legendary mods. Because, I mean, getting a Kraken, we would have had five stacks <clears throat> of reload mod, uh, giving us... Uh, 25% more damage with our shells, so we probably would have killed off the Montana, especially on something that relies on dealing damage and farming, and uh, I guess DPM uh, so much to do well. But um, yeah, unfortunate loss, but at the same time, I mean, we saw a great example of why Zhao is just significantly better than Henry, and um, why there isn't much of a reason to use Henry. I mean, sure, we would have had reload boosts, but then aside from those reload boosts, would we have actually dealt as much damage? Probably not. Uh, also, the Torps, launching 10 of them at the uh, Chengmu, I mean, that just increased our chances compared to Henry, because it only launches 3. But yeah, I mean, they both have the same reload. I just think Zhao is significantly better, and uh, it definitely shows. And I guess one thing I didn't mention is that you do need to purchase Zhao with uh, 30 million credits. And Henry's a free bureau project. But I think it's uh, 30 million well spent. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more and share it with your friends. Or leave a comment down below on other ships you want to see in the future. But till next time, aloha.